Hi, it's Neil here from neilcurtis.me. I'm just going to show you quickly in less than five minutes how to set up a local development environment on your computer so you can run WordPress and therefore develop websites without the need to connect to the internet. So there's two main steps. The first is you need to install something like XAMPP, which lets you run Apache, PHP, and MySQL from your computer. Straightforward, just go into search engine, type in XAMPP, and then the top link is ApacheFriends.org. Click on that. And I'm installing it on a Windows computer, so it's like XAMPP for Windows. Then the easiest way is to scroll down and then click on the installer link. And then it'll just start to download the exe file right in the window. So once it's downloaded, you just click on it to execute it. And then it'll take you through a load of prompt windows to install the software. I've got a few messages seen about my antivirus and stuff, so I just click OK and just follow the defaults. Now I'm just going to put it into the C drive. I'm going to unselect these extra bits and then it's installing XAMPP now. So there you go, it's done. I click finish. And there you go, step one's done and it's launched the control panel. Open now. So now the next step is to set up a database and install WordPress on your computer. So we go ahead and start Apache MySQL on the control panel. And then just click admin here and it'll launch in the web browser the PHP MyAdmin control panel. You just click databases, create new database and call it whatever you want. But I'm just going to call it neilcurtis.me to the website. Click create. And there you go, you've created a database. It's as easy as that. Next, we need to get to WordPress. So we go to wordpress.org, click download and get the latest version of WordPress. So just wait for that to, to download. And then it comes zipped. So we just need to extract these folders into your XAMPP folder that you put onto your C drive, or I put in my C drive. And then you need to actually place the WordPress documents under HT docs. Now that's extracting all the WordPress files onto my computer. So there's that part done. So we just close down all these windows now. And I'll minimize the XAMPP control panel. And I'll just go to this WordPress folder that we've just downloaded. So it's in HT docs, WordPress. And you can just leave it as WordPress as you want, but I'm going to call it the name of my website. You can call it whatever you want or just leave it. It happens to be the same name as my database, but it shouldn't be really. It's just what I've done here. Now we go into the website. Type in local host forward slash the name of that folder. So if you left it as WordPress, it's WordPress, but I call it neilcurtis.me. Click enter and we can start to configure the files. So just click go. So the name of your database, so my neilcurtis.me, but yours would be whatever you set up in earlier on in the stage. Username, we didn't set one, and the default is root, so just type root. Leave password blank, so we didn't set that either. And then go submit. And that set up the config file. So now we just click run install. And then this is the name of your WordPress site. So I'm just gonna call my neilcurtis.me username. This is a username you're going to use to log in to your WordPress site. So choose something, keep it secret. And then a password. Remember these. And then an email address. And then I'm just going to unclick this, allow search engines to index, but it doesn't matter, I think. Install WordPress. Then there you go. It's as easy as that. It's all done. Now we can log in using that username and password we just set. And then there you go, we're in WordPress. And that's your WordPress site set up on your home computer so you can start developing it. All that's left to say is good luck and head over to www.neilcurtis.me.